It's over. Your path ends here. Did you know that you're a real pain in the ass? I have given you every opportunity so that we didn't end up like this. I even honestly thought I was doing you a favor by leaving you behind to die. And I appreciate it, but I will not allow you to take that fragment. It's a piece of evil, without consciousness, pure power. Not even I have an idea of what you could do with it. That's how little imagination you have. Do you know that the Order of Nathaniel intended to use Baal to create a definitive monster and use it to stop the approaching war? The Order thought that they could create an antagonist that would cause the whole world to stand united against it. Naturally, the Order hoped to have absolute control over it. But they would fail. We both know it. Whatever they created using Baal, it couldn't be controlled. But this, this seed, this piece of evil as you call it, is something completely different. It can grow, mature in a different way, and become an independent entity. That is the stupidest thing I have ever heard you say. And you talk a lot. What would you do with something like that? I will give it to those who live in the shadows, to the supernatural creatures that live hidden from humanity. It will be their new messiah, the one who will allow them to rise again in the world. Why? Since when do you care? I did not take you for an idealist or a revolutionary. I do not care about them at all. But imagine it, with a savior on their side, they will fight. There will be a new war just when all the human nations are massacring each other. A conflict with a scale such as has not been seen in thousands of years. Can you imagine the chaos? But you are not a demon. You are not an embodiment of chaos. I do not even think you are a god. What do you really want? Want? I want to see how the world's order falls apart. I want to see the nations collapse, and then I will scream to the heavens what is going to happen, and let them see how they can't do anything to stop it. Not because I care about chaos or war, not even because it's fun. It will just be the beginning of my journey. How terrifying. You do it because in the middle of all that chaos, whatever you do, no one will notice you. I have walked alongside kings and conquerors. I have been there when empires have risen and fallen, but I have never left my mark on history. I am a shadow that does not exist, and nobody sees coming. But today, immortal, you are in my way. Will I be weak? Very powerful? Well, in general, I never face anyone directly. That is why they don't have an idea of how powerful I am. Today, I've decided to make an exception with you. As you wish, this is the end. Today is the day your story ends. We'll see, John. This is the hand of darkness. <laughs> See what I can do with the 
seed of battle! <laughs> Most impressive. I assure you I was not taking you lightly. <laughs> I guess this is the limit that this body can reach. It is over. This is the end for you. That form cannot take any more. You're wrong. I didn't want to do this, but you forced my hand. I still have another body to use. One that I have right here. Stop! So much power! This is Ball, an embodiment of collective consciousness, the desired world. We are embodied will, a fragment of existence itself. This is the hand of death. It doesn't matter who or what you are. There is nothing that it can't kill.
It is the time to end this.
You've won, Immortal. Ball is sealed, and there is nothing left of it that can be used. You have destroyed years of meticulous planning. I have no more reason to stay here. When we meet next time, I wonder... Will we be enemies? Allies? Next time? I am getting tired of repeating myself, but it seems that nobody wants to listen. There is nothing that I can't kill. Oh, crap. <laughs>